yeah, so I just came to the stand and I see wood here and bundles and racks. Um, so do you sell uh, cords of wood? No, buddy, I don't. I don't sell cords of wood. I maybe sell like a cage of wood, but it's going to be like uh, cookies or chunks, but it's just what you see here. Bundles and racks and kindling. Uh, no cords. Why? Well, I, I, I don't understand. Like you sell, you sell firewood, but you don't, you, you don't sell cords. I don't. Huh? That is correct. I just sell mostly my firewood. It's right here in uh, small quantities. Um, here, I don't, I don't, I don't advertise to sell cords. Um, I just, I sell small quantities. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't. I don't wait, hang on, hang on. You sell firewood, but you don't sell cords. Now, I that doesn't make. I am confused. How does that? That doesn't work. That doesn't make sense to me. That is correct. I sell firewood, but I don't sell cords. Of firewood. Uh, well, I I don't. I need more than a bundle and a rack. I I I need a cord. So so can you sell me a cord? Uh no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me that you have all this wood in your backyard and you're not going to sell me one quart of that wood? Not one quart. Yes, that is correct. But why? I don't understand. You you have the wood, just sell me the cord. Just I just want I want one cord. Just sell me one. Just one. Um no. I lose money if I sell cords. What do you mean you lose money on core? What are you talking about? I've made upwards of a grand worth of a cord of firewood in a month before. So yeah, if I sell you a cord for whatever money, I I lose money on the deal. Well, I know math wasn't my my best subject in school, but my math and isn't isn't working in my head. But um, well uh. What do you mean you can't? A thousand dollars for a cord? I'm not gonna buy a cord of wood for you for a thousand dollars. You're crazy. You don't rip people off. You're ripping people off. Don't rip me off. I know it's difficult for some people to understand why I don't sell cords. I just sell bundles and racks of wood. But just, uh, just believe me when I say, I make more money off of firewood that I sell at this firewood stand versus m selling it by the cord. That's just how how I sell wood. So what I hear you saying is you want to rip people off. You want to take their money and give them little bits of firewood. That's that's what I hear you saying. You're a scammer. You're not a good person. Well, I'm sorry to, that you feel that way, sir. Um, sorry that we couldn't do business, but uh, if you ever need a bundle of, of kindling or a bundle of firewood or a rack or so, you let me know. People nowadays scamming others and firewood and trying to trying to up the prices when I and back in my day a one quarter firewood was a hundred dollars hundred dollars sir I assure you no one here is scamming anyone and the going rate currently for a cord of wood would I would say would be between 250 and 300 dollars for a cord what and that's probably gonna be seasoned um, I'm just saying well that is highway robbery I'm not gonna pay those prices heck I can go to the local hardware store and buy a bundle of firewood for nine fifty. what do you think about that the bundles of firewood that I sell or more volume than when you can find at the local hardware store and they're cheaper and they're not punky well I don't I don't well I don't know what's firewood and I need some for the the fall and bundles and uh, firewood so hard nowadays and <sighs> just send me a cord man well I'm sorry we couldn't do business this time around but if you feel any need later on I have a business card at the front of my stand you can take one of those and give me a text if you need some in the future fine I'll take your card but what I'll do is I'll tell all my friends that you're a scam artist you want to scam people out of their money for for your for your firewood well, if you want to do that, that's that's on you. I mean, I have a pretty good following of, of customers um, who, who, who people buy from me, and uh, but I, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm the cheapest around, as well as uh, I have not increased my price since ever. Well, well, I'm sure you get this wood for free, or your friends, or whatever, and all you have, all you do is split it, and then you and you sell it. Like that's not hard work. I mean, you can't you give me give me a deal. Come on, give me give me. I want to sell it. I want to buy a cord. I, come on, just sell me a cord, please. 
if firewood is easy, why can't you, why don't you make your own uh, cord of wood? I mean, right? Yeah, well, I, I don't have the space for it in my yard and, and my splitter broke down and, and, and my back hurts and I, I, I just, I, I don't, I don't have time. I just, firewood, I, I know I've done it before and I know it's, it's not worth, not worth a thousand dollars. You're crazy. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry that we can't do business today, but you have my card and uh, I wish you luck on finding your elusive cord of wood that's going to be cheaper than what you found on Marketplace or buying bundles that are cheaper than what I have here. Fine, man. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm out of here. So long, potential customer. Bye. Have fun splitting your own firewood and wanting it for so cheap. Hope that you like the humor in that episode. I thought it was kind of funny. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, if you kind of want another out there, say safe, be cut, and rock and roll. Cheers.